Welcome back, everybody. It's Evan. We're here again for ControllerChaos.com. It is top five controllers of the week video. It's Friday, February 12th, and we have some heavy hitters for you today. We even have a Valentine's Day edition that we're going to go ahead and kick this off with. This has been selling extremely well in anticipation for Valentine's Day this Sunday. Well, our new ad content, uh, you know, kind of catchphrase is game together, stay together. And that is the whole focus behind this, guys. We went with an 8-bit style uh, controller design. So we have the Pink Hearts 8-bit style, and you fill my heart. And the idea behind that was the old school Zelda games, guys, when you had to get all the little hearts to keep you, uh, you know, a uh, little link alive. Beautiful, like really hot, vibrant pink down here at the bottom of the shell, guys, fading up to our really deep abyss black. Ultra gloss clear coat finish on here to seal the deal. This customer did decide to go OEM on everything, guys, and I think it looks Perfect, just like this. We go ahead and flip over the controller. Guys, you see we do have that 8-bit heart smack dab in the middle of the battery pack. We got that wonderful uh, neon pink fade down here at the bottom of the controller. And the grips are neon pink as well. Again, ultra gloss clear coat finish on the back and front to seal the deal, guys. Valentine's Day edition. This came out last year, so it's the Valentine's Day 2015 And uh, guys, pick that up today, man. It sells all year round, so it's just not for Valentine's Day. Moving on to another Xbox One controller. Guys, This all the designs we're showing are available for all consoles. This one right here, uh, the Xbox One Tequila Sunrise, extremely popular. There's a lot of freehand airbrush work that's going on in this. We got this wonderful like orange fading down to a yellow fade, creating the sunset kind of look. We got these really awesome looking palm trees down here on both handles. We got some like palm grass, you know, something like that. Kind of, you know, out of focus. And then the, uh, you know, like the water reflecting off the uh, sea, uh, you know, right down here at the bottom of the controller. Really, really nice with the ultra gloss clear coat finish on this one as well. Check out the back, guys. We carry that like, you know, the water theme over to the back of the controller as well. Here we got the sun in the middle. You see it reflecting off the water right there with the fading of the like the palm leaves and stuff down here. Very nice. Again, guys, this is available for all four consoles. So if you don't have an Xbox One, you want to pick it up for 360 or any of the PlayStation consoles, guys, we got you covered. And we have a link in the description below for this one as well. Again, Tequila Sunrise, available for all four consoles. Here we have one of the build-your-own controllers. And what is one of the top-selling attributes about this is the premium paint option. We have the metallic silver to pearl sapphire blue fade on this controller. This is widely selected across all consoles, guys, because it looks so badass. So we, this customer went with some chrome blue uh, X circle square and triangle buttons and the D-pad to complement the blue that's down here on the bottom of the controller, guys, and it looks really, really tough. Ultra gloss clear coat finish on here to protect this badass paint job. You see we got that pearl sapphire blue here on the back of the controller with the metallic silver. We do have the on-off mod button installed on this particular one and the custom LED light assembly, which will light up accordingly, letting you know which mods are on at what time while you're uh, you know, kicking ass and taking names with your awesome modded controller. Guys, be sure to check that out. The build your own section, the premium paint options. We're gonna give you some of the, the hottest you know, options and controller customization. Another premium paint option that sells like hotcakes uh, we have the Pearl Rasta Fade. We got Pearl Electric Lime Green, Pearl Lemon Yellow, and Pearl Ruby Red to create this awesome Rasta Fade. Customer decided to switch it up with the button colors. Guys, I like how we went with the chrome red on the green and the chrome green on the red. Beautiful chrome gold right here in the middle to balance it all out with the yellow touchpad. Bullet thumbsticks, guys. These are the brass bullet thumbstick option. Really, really tough, guys. It's only for the most extreme gamers. Check out how we got the uh, this customer selected to have the chrome green bumpers, the R1, L1s, and then the chrome red triggers, the R2 and L2. Really, really nice contrast right there. We do have a custom, uh, uh, excuse me, LED light bar installed on the controller. You guys, you see how that lights up? That looks really, really sick. And this isn't some cheap ass sticker, guys. This is on the light bar for life. It's not gonna fade or get damaged or peel off. Really nice. And we got a gamer tag smack dab in the back with our graffiti font. Perfect styling for this style of controller. Daniel did an amazing job designing this, sir. Again, all these options can be found on any of our controllers, but the premium paint is located in the build your own section. All right, guys. 
last but not least, we have the Patriot Edition. This is highly popular, especially around, uh, you know, 4th of July when we get into the summer months. Guys, this awesome American flag pattern looks so kick-ass. The vibrant colors of the red, white, and blue looks amazing. And you can see all the detail of, like, how the flags are folded and stuff. Hats off to our paint staff on these particular designs, man. We do have the LED light assembly smack dab in the middle of the controller. So that way, while you're gaming, just a quick look down and you can see exactly what you have on. There's no confusion. Really nice. This customer decided to leave everything OEM, which I think looks really, really good in this particular case. You see here on the back, we do have the on-off mod button on this controller as well. Guys, all of these controllers that we showcase for you today do have our ultra gloss clear coat finish on here with a wet sand. So these things are like glass. They're, you know, all the paint jobs are protected. They're not going to wear, fade, chip, or, uh, you know, just come flaking off, guys. We put a lot of love and care into these controllers. Guys, I hope you like all these. Please thumbs up the video. Show us your support for these awesome controllers. Uh, check out the video in the middle of your screen for a behind-the-scenes tour of our facility. On the far right, we got an Xbox One Elite Nuketown 2065 controller. And don't forget to subscribe in the top left. I'm Evan. We'll catch you next episode, guys, and happy Valentine's Day.